Dynamics 365 Business Central is Microsoft's offering for small and mid-sized businesses. It really is an all-in-one suite. It's going to handle your finance, your sales, your procurement, your operations, uh, your supply chain, uh, connecting with customers. And part of that value is really having an integrated experiences so you can actually connect all of these things, see them in one place, do analytics, and really operate your business very efficiently. Business Central differentiates by really trying to be fast and efficient for small businesses. Um, in your business, you don't want to spend a lot of time doing configuration, setting things up, doing a lot of data entry. Business Central really excels in being the product that lets you adapt faster, work smarter, and perform better. It really is efficient for people to go and actually use the product. If you have new employees coming to the company, they can learn it. We work a lot on usability. When they're using it, we want it to be efficient. We want to make sure that you're getting your data in quickly. Um, you're spending more time doing your actual business, working with your customers, doing sales, generating revenue, less time spending time on your back office, and really making sure that you can perform better, that it's optimized, that we have AI, we have insights, we have things that actually help you analyze your business, learn what's going to actually help you grow, and really help your employees do their job better. We've done a lot of great innovation in Business Central in this wave. And it really comes down to sort of two big key things. The first one is AI-powered business. And what do we mean by AI-powered business? We really do mean the core things that come as part of ERP systems. We're investing in you know, basics like you know, reconciling with my bank, creating sales quotes, doing analytics, making it faster to enter in data, uh, being more efficient in terms of your supply chain and inventory. But we're doing that using the power of AI and the power of Copilot. It's really going to be a game changer in terms of how people actually work with the system. And so when you see AI, we're not just sort of adding AI wizardry across the, you know, for kind of the fun. We're actually going to go and think about, and we're actually executing, how AI is actually going to make your employees more efficient. It really is a co-pilot that's going to help each employee do their work faster, better, and smarter. And as a world-class service, if you're an SMB, you don't want to have to think about your IT systems. You don't want to think about, do I need to add more servers? Do I need to add more storage? Um, what happens if my company grows really quickly or we have a very busy day? Um, we're doing the work on our end to ensure that we have the scale, we have the performance, the security, your data is encrypted, the compliance. So you again can focus on your business, make sure that you're doing what you need to do to connect with your customers and grow. And we're gonna make sure that we have the data centers running, the reliability, the redundancy, um, that when you work on with Business Central, it's gonna be there, it's gonna be up and running 24 seven, 365 days a year. One of the first big bets that we did is around analytics. When you see your data in Business Central, you often want to look at it in different forms. You might want to say, hey, how is this data you know, grouped by quarter? Or what happens if I you know, filter out by everybody in Mexico or this other thing? Yes, we have tools. You can go and drag and drop and filter and make that happen. But now you can do this with natural language. Through the power of Copilot, just type what you want. You can type in there, you know, show me this data by quarter or show me this data you know, only for 2022. Whatever you might want to type, that will go in. We'll actually create those views on the fly. Uh, just like you might ask a friend to do that, you can now ask Copilot. It'll really help make your analytics faster and easier. A second example is e-documents. Uh, these days, you might have a lot of e-invoices coming in. And those e invoices may or may not match what you have on your general ledger. They may not have the exact schema in terms of what are the different fields, um, but they might even have different rows. Maybe you have you know, four different rows in terms of some transaction, but it got split out by your customer and when they sent you the invoice. And you can spend a lot of time actually doing that reconciliation. Uh, the data that we show is that small businesses actually spend a shocking amount of time uh, just taking you know, sort of statements from here, statements in their own ledger, matching them up. And with the power of Copilot, it can actually look at the things on one side, look on the other, suggest which things to connect, and really, again, optimize that process so you can, again, spend more time with your customers, less time making sure that your e-invoices are matching you know, the data that you actually think they should be in the invoice. Uh, another really great example um, of using Copilot is just simple chat. Uh, Business Central does a lot. Um, it's often that people say, hey, I wish Business Central did X or Y, and it already does that capability. Now you can use the chat pane um, that you can bring that anywhere up in Business Central and just simply ask it questions. You can ask how to do a process and it'll actually respond with you with steps by steps on how you do it. Um, you can find information. Let's say you want to go find a customer or find an invoice or find a sales quote. Um, you don't necessarily have to know the navigation of where to go. Just go in the chat pane and say, you know, find this customer or find this invoice and it'll bring that up for you. Um, you're going to be able to do more advanced things in terms of analytics right there. Again, bringing sort of natural language, much like you might have asked your you know, friend down the corner who's an expert in the product. Um, now you have a friend you know, right in Business Central with Copilot where you can ask questions, 
have those interactions and again, really be more efficient um, without having to go and you know, search the web or go and sort of you know, figure out things uh, on your own. Um, creating sales quotes, uh, are, and when I say sales quotes, really sales lines, all the different parts of whether it's a sales order or purchase order, um, a sales quote, an invoice, whatever it may be, um, is one of the most common tasks in any business application system and one of the most repetitive. You're often creating multiple lines. Um, you know, you're setting for each line the quantity, um, you know, the precise item number, the discounts, whatever it may be. Uh, we've now made that much easier with Copilot. Um, you can just paste in an email and I'll look at that email and the mail says, hey, I want 10 Paris desks and five Amsterdam chairs. Um, we'll actually go search your inventory and create those for you. Uh, you might create a, a sales quote that's um, similar to one you did last week. So you can say, hey, can you copy this one and make, it, make that as my sort of starting point? Uh, we're making it much easier to actually go and do these sort of very common tasks, more efficient using Copilot, again, as your intelligence, um, you know, sort of friend in the background, really making these things uh, faster and more efficient for you. Uh, even better sometimes than actually having these sort of you know, traditional systems of sending you know, PDFs as um, you know, quotes and getting emails backs and invoices for many customers, um, going digital meant instead of sending you know, handwritten things um, that would send them back and forth as PDFs, even more modern way would be to have a business of business portal. And with our partnership with Shopify, we've made that very, very easy. And so just like Shopify uh, is the leader in terms of creating business to consumer websites, um, you can now use it for B2B. And so if you have a bunch of inventory and you need a bunch of B2B capabilities, such as having different pricing for different customers, different discounts, um, different rules, different sets of inventory. You might only want to expose um, certain items to certain customers because it only makes sense based on um, your business relationships and your contracts. Um, that can be all part of the system. And the beauty of it is you get the great parts of Shopify, their experience for building a very consumer-friendly website with shopping carts and visuals and be able to add things and the things that you kind of expect from sort of a Shopify type of experience, um, combined with Business Central on the back end and with all the sophistication we have with you know, managing your inventory, managing um, your items, your goods, your pricing engines, um, your customers, your rules, all that sort of hardcore business operations. Um, and it's really a perfect marriage. And so we're very excited. Uh, we already had a great partnership with Shopify for consumer-facing websites. And we think this partnership for business to business is going to be the next big sort of breakthrough in letting you operate more efficiently as customers can go, just click on your B2B website, say what they need, make those orders, um, and remove a lot of that paperwork that you might be used to from the past. Uh, sustainability is another big bet for us. Uh, going forward, uh, governments are going to demand that you actually track your carbon usage. How much are you using when you create your products in manufacturing? What are your employee, employees using when they, you know, when they do business travel or they go to work? Um, you know, what is actually being used by your company? Uh, right now, the regulations tend to target large enterprises, but those large enterprises will then demand from their vendors, which will be many of you in that sort of mid-sized segment, um, that information to go up the chain. Uh, BC is providing the platform and the core capabilities to have sustainability tracking be integrated deeply into the system. So where you're already doing things like you know, managing time and expense or time and uh, you know, people actually doing worksheets and uh, time management, whether it's your uh, supply chain and inventory and your warehouse and your manufacturing, in all the places that you're already doing your operations, we're now going to make it easy to track the carbon usage, uh, what you're actually doing, have that report out. And ultimately, sustainability tracking is going to be like financial tracking. People are going to have their annual reports of their finances and their revenue. And they're going to report on their sustainability and their usage. And BC is going to be there leading the way, making sure that we have the tools um, you need. Again, so you can really focus on your business and let all the underlying calculations of you know, how much carbon is being used here for this operation or that operation um, really being automated and done by the system. Um, but of course, what we build out of the box for Microsoft is only part of the equation. What makes Business Central special is the great partner ecosystem. We have partners building really deep tools across all sorts of industries, whether it be retail, manufacturing, housing, real estate, professional services, legal, uh, commerce, you know, on and on and on. And each of those industries are going to have their own needs for our AI and autonomous experiences. With Business Central, we have a great toolkit and a great experiences that are going to let developers actually build solutions. So just like you saw out of the box, Copilot helping customers, um, partners are going to be able to build solutions specific for their industries. And just recently, we had this amazing hackathon. Um, we worked with over 300 Business Central partners, people that build solutions on top of Business Central. Um, they presented over 50 different solutions they built um, in just three days. Uh, the, uh, the developer toolkit is very easy to use. 
Um, really, it's, it's not about the coding part, it's about the creativity. Can you think of the scenarios um, that's gonna make AI more efficient? Um, and we are blown away. What we've seen from partners is you know, their ideas, their knowledge of what's needed in different industries for different businesses, um, different geographies, things that might be very different in say Australia versus North America versus Europe versus Asia. Um, and the solutions that have come up are incredible. And so we think that the innovation that, that's happening here is already at, at a rapid pace. But once we get the full ecosystem building solutions um, across the board, across the different industries, really using that ecosystem, um, it's just going to accelerate even more. So we're very excited. So if you're a partner watching this, um, we encourage you to go and build solutions on BC. And if you're a customer, um, talk to your partner, look out what's out there and be excited about more innovation and how that's going to really help your employees, you know, again, work faster, perform better and uh, act smarter. Um, and so with that, I want to thank you guys. Um, it's been, uh, we're very excited about the innovations that we're doing with Business Central. And I do have a link here. Um, it's aka.ms slash BCLE. Uh, we have a launch event with Business Central where we go through all the capabilities of a given wave um, in quite a bit of depth. I realize this is a very fast overview. And so if you were excited about what you saw here and want to learn more, uh, go to this URL. It's going to show you all the capabilities in great depth, really show you why Business Central is the best solution uh, for small and mid-sized businesses. Thank you very much.